Mina, Kumbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is obviously a, a cell phone camera. This is obviously like I'm looking at a cell phone. I'm not using my computer screen. You can see the corner of my uh, room up there with the little weird angle that I have by reversing my keyboard and then propping my phone up against it. Is that is that a beautiful corner? Do you do you like do you like what you see? I think it's nice and lots of th 90 degree angles. It's it's quite nice. It's very beautiful. Um, my internet is dead. It died earlier on tonight. If we can take a moment of silence in memory of my internet. Okay, that was long enough. Hopefully this thing will be back tomorrow. This is super annoying. Thank God I have plenty of games that I can play offline, so I don't have to be a bored little boy. But, thank goodness, I can still publish my... Uh, I can publish that to YouTube. Yeah, that, this was a beautiful way to open up a Bible thing, wasn't it? It was the best. So I still have the Dark Souls recordings going on. They simply... They... I... If there was a way to put them from the computer to the phone, that would be that would be very interesting. Um, I don't know of that way, and I'm not going to look it up. I will simply upload them when internet is going, which will hopefully be tomorrow. And I can still do the Bible stuff from the phone, so that is good. I know how important this is to so many people, so I'm really glad I'm able to do this. But it doesn't matter. Even if no one watches this particular video for years in the future, if no one ever watches it at all, um, I'm going to do what I think is right, I'm going to make sure I do what I think the Lord would want me to do, and I'm going to put out His Word, and I'm going to make sure that people who are interested now or in the future are able to see it. This is going to be Job chapter 25, and I'm going to read the whole thing because it's only six verses long, and they're not even that big of verses. Then Bildad the Shuhite answered and said, Dominion and fear belong to him. He makes peace in his high places. Is there any number to his armies? Upon whom does his light not rise? How then can man be righteous before God? Or how can he be pure who is born of a woman? If even the moon does not shine, excuse me, and the stars are not pure in his sight, how much less man who is a maggot, and a son of man who is a worm? Some of the chapters in the Bible are super duper short. I read this, and there was one verse in particular that stood out to me, where he, it's verse 5 where he says, If even the moon does not shine, and the stars are not pure in his sight. Now, I know the Bible is not a science textbook. I am very, very well aware of that. But I would say when it speaks on scientific matters, it is accurate. And it's just really interesting to me how these guys, way back in the day, somehow knew that the moon didn't have light. I don't know what astronomy, I don't know how advanced it was back in the time that Job was written. Some people theorize that it was written around Moses' time. Some people somewhere around Abraham's time. I apologize if I look back and forth on the camera. I'm not sure exactly where the center is, so I'm trying to face it. So if, I, if I'm looking a little to one side or the other, I do apologize. But yeah, um, we know nowadays that the moon doesn't have its own light. It reflects, all, it reflects the sun's light, and we see it at night. And the stars are not pure in his sight. We know now that stars, they have lifespans. They're not eternal. They are giant balls of gas that burn in the sky. And they do have lifespans, very, very long lifespans. But they do eventually die out and go away. And it just makes me wonder, you know, how did these guys know these things way back then? Maybe astronomy was far more advanced than I had any idea it was. But it also makes me think, what if... What if someone got a divine revelation? By the way, this is how stars work. By the way, this is how the moon works. Not in the sense that we know nowadays, but in a sense that they sure as heck should not have known back in those days. So, science in the Bible? Possibly? Not possibly? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And that is it for this video. I love you, and God bless.